Hello students, I am Mom Rose. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell for you to be updated on my upcoming videos. Happy learning! In this video, we will learn how to graph parabola. In graphing parabola, there are two cases of our vertex. One is if it's in the origin, that's 0, 0, and the other one is any point of the plane, that's HK. If our vertex is 0, these are the following forms that we will see. On the other hand, if our vertex is HK, these are the forms that we will see. Noticing the forms, we have here Y squared and the other one is X squared. As you can see, if it's positive here, then the parabola opens to the right. If it's negative, it opens to the left. Same here below, we just place K here and H here. If it's positive, it still opens to the right. If it's negative, the parabola opens to the left. Now, in terms of x squared here, if it's positive, the parabola opens upward. If it's negative, it opens downward. Same here below, we just place here h and then k. If it's positive, it still opens upward. If it's negative, it opens downward. Now, we will be using the following forms for us to be guided in our graphing. x squared is equal to 12y. This is in this form. That means to say our vertex is 0, 0 and our parabola is opening upward. Plotting that one here, that's 0, 0 and we will label V. Now going back here, this is equivalent to 4C. So we have to get the value of C here. So we have to divide both sides by 4. Therefore, our C is 12 divided by 4 is 3. Now we will be using this value to get our focus. 3 units upward is 1, 2, 3. Therefore, this is our focus. That point is 0, 3. Now, we will be using C again to get our directrix, but it's going down. 1, 2, 3. So, since our directrix is a line, we will just place here a line that is 3 units below our vertex. Now, since our directrix hit the Y value negative 3, the equation of this line is y is equals to negative 3. Next is our axis of symmetry. Our axis of symmetry is still a line that contains the focus and the vertex which is perpendicular to our directrix. So this is the line. This axis of symmetry hits the x value 0. Therefore, the equation of this line is x is equal to 0. Next is our latus rectum. This is in the formula 4c. But if we only want to get half of it, we'll just have to use 2c. Now, 2 times our c is from above is 3. That is equal to 6. So, we have to count 6 units from the focus. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is our end point here. It is 6, 3. 6 units to the other side. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's negative 6, 3. Now we just have to create a parabola from the vertex going to the end points of the latus rectum. And this is our graph. Let's now proceed to number 2. This form is the same as this form. So our vertex is still 0, 0. And the parabola opens to the left. 
So we will plot first our vertex here, label V. Then we will get the value of our C. This portion here is our negative 4C, as you can see here. So that's negative 4C is equals to negative 6. Divide both sides by negative 4. And our C will be positive 3 over 2, which is equal to 1.5. So from the vertex, we will count 1.5 units to the left. So that would be 1.5 here. So that point is negative 1.5, 0. Next, we will still be using 1.5 to get our directrix. So on the other side here, we have to count 1.5. That would be 1.5 here. Again, the directrix is a line, so we'll just have to place a line containing that point. So since that line hits positive 1.5 in our x, therefore the equation of our directrix is x is equals to 1.5. Next is our axis of symmetry. Remember that our axis should contain the focus and the vertex and it should be perpendicular to the directrix. So this one, this line is our axis of symmetry. This line here hits 0 in the y-axis. Therefore, our equation for this line is y is equal to 0. Next is the latus rectum. It is in the formula 4c. But in here, we will just get half of it. So it's 2c which is equal to 3. Therefore, from the focus, 1, 2, 3 units here. That's negative 1.53. And then 3 below, 1, 2, 3. That's negative 1.5, negative 3 here. And then we'll just have to create a parabola connecting the endpoints of the latus rectum and the vertex. And this is our final answer. We are now on number 3. This form here is just the same with this form. Therefore, our vertex here is HK. This is our H here and this is our K. So that's 3, 4. And the parabola opens downward. So we will plot our vertex first. That is positive 3 here and then 4. So this is our vertex. Next is we will get the value of our C. Again, this portion here is our negative 4C. So, negative 4c is equal to negative 10. And then divide both sides by negative 4. That will give us c is equal to 5 over 2. So, that is equal to 2.5. Using our c, we will just count here downward 2.5. 1, 2.5 here. So, our focus here is 3 and then positive 1.5. Now, we will use again our C to get our directrix. So, we will count 2.5 units from our vertex. So, it is this point here. Remember, our directrix is a line. So, we'll just have to create a line passing through that point. This is our directrix. Now, this line passes through 6.5 in the y-axis. Therefore, our equation is y is equals to 6.5. Next is our axis of symmetry. Our axis of symmetry is this line since the vertex and the focus passes through this line. As you can see, it hits the value 3 in the x-axis. Therefore, our line of symmetry is x is equals to positive 3. 
Next is our latus rectum. Again, it is in the formula 4C, but we will just use 2C to get half of it. So that's 2 times 5 over 2 is 5. Now you have to count 5 units from the focus. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this point is... This point is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's 8. Positive 1.5. And then the other one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this point here is negative 2, 1.5. And we will just connect the endpoints of the latus rectum to our vertex to create this curve. And this is our final answer. Now we have here this form. This is very similar to this form here. That means to say that our vertex is in HK. Now our H here is this portion here. So 5 and our K since it's positive so we'll place negative 4. And our parabola opens to the right. Plotting that one we have here, 5, negative 4, and label V. Now this portion here is our 4C, as you can see in this form. So that is equal to 8. Divide both sides by 4, therefore our C is 2. Now we will be using our C here to get our focus, 2 units to the right, so it is in this point. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 7, negative 4. And then we will also be using C to get our directrix. So 1, 2. Our directrix should be a line. So we will just have to create a line passing through that point. As you can see, our directrix hits the value 3 in our x-axis. Therefore, our equation here is x is equals to positive 3. Our axis of symmetry is the line containing our focus and our vertex. So, it is in this line. Now, we just have to fix the points here. So, this line here is our axis of symmetry. As you can see, this line hits the value of negative 4 in our y-axis. Therefore, our equation here is y is equals to negative 4. Now, let us get our latus rectum. It is in the formula 4c, but we will only get half of it. So, that is equal to 4. Now, we will count 4 units from the focus. Up and down, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. This point is 7, 0. And the other one, 4 units below. 1, 2, 3, 4. This point here is 7, negative 8. And then we will just have to connect the endpoints of the latus rectum to the vertex, forming a curve. And this is our final answer. That is all for today. Thank you and see you in our next video lesson.